But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 15. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Rennie here as you already know. I mean you clicked on the video, right? Um, and since you're here, definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Like I know you've watched a few of my videos and yeah, let's get right into it. So today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how I grew up my natural hair. Um, it's still pretty short. It's still going through a lot. Um, I could talk about my hair journey for hours and for days, but that's not what this video is about. Today I'm just going to give you guys some tips on how I continue to keep my hair healthy and help it to grow out to all this lusciousness that is at right now. <laughs> get to know your hair. Take the time out that you need to figure out what your hair likes, what products work best with your hair, what products your hair does not like. Like for me, um, it took me a while to accept this, but I realized that my hair does not like coconut oil. And I know for a lot of naturals, they vouch for coconut oil like it's the best thing ever. My hair, if I put coconut oil on my hair anywhere, whether it's the first product that I put on, the second product, whatever, my entire hair starts to flake. Is a hot mess so it ruins every single style it ruins every single product I just I can't um, the most I would try to do sometimes is like if I'm doing a rinse out conditioner that has coconut oil or has anything coconut related I don't mind trying it out but even the scent like kind of bothers me sometimes too so I try to stay away from coconut oil as much as I can um, when it comes to my hair most products that your hair loves obviously you don't want to continue using products that like your hair flakes with or like it dries out your hair products that um, makes your scalp itchy like I know there was a video that Brie Hall shared where she was using eco styler gel and it made her scalp like start to tingle and like really burn so of course getting to know your hair but then also like sticking to the products that actually work stop trying to try this product and that product and all the other products like stick to what your hair loves um of course i am still working in that area because i love trying new things and i love seeing what my hair would actually um like cooperate with and then what it wouldn't cooperate with um, of course if you're experimenting try to balance it out so if you experiment with the product make sure that you always go back to the things that work so that your hair doesn't like flip out on you if you found the perfect formula the perfect um hair products that work for you just stick to that why go and mess that up deep condition your hair every single week every single week um i used to do this a lot um where i would make excuses for why i'm not deep conditioning my hair like i have plans i'm going here i'm going there um, right now you're kind of stuck in your house so deep condition your hair sis Just deep condition your hair bro like deep condition um, the reason I'm saying deep conditioning here every single week, I've noticed a major difference with my hair when I'm consistent with my deep conditioning. So what I would do is I would use a protein uh, conditioner, a protein based deep conditioner once every month. And then the other three weeks, um, I would use a moisture rich deep conditioner. So um, I could go into like some of my favorite products in another video. Um, but what I've noticed is my, my hair is a lot shinier, it's softer, it cooperates a lot more. Make sure that you're putting as much protein as possible uh, without drying out your hair so the moisture kind of balances it out. Um, but I do notice that my hair sometimes frizzes a lot so maybe I need some more protein. Like look at your hair, get to know your hair and you'll be able to see if your hair needs something else. I have a few tips down here so don't mind me as I take my phone out. Deep conditioning your hair, deep condition with heat, with heat. Don't just like, don't deep condition overnight. It's not gonna change anything. I've tried it, I've done that, been there, done that. All that's gonna happen is you're gonna wake up with a head cold. Like, it's not worth it. Um, don't let yourself do that. Until the next day, do the deep conditioning in the morning, like first thing in the morning. Like, don't do it overnight. Um, but use heat. I use a steamer in my hair and I've noticed so much difference. Like my hair just like, <laughs> soaks everything up and it's just so it's so good it's soft and moisturized and you guys can kind of tell from the pic the video like you can tell my hair is like just shaking 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 like look at that i'm sorry i'm really loving this twist out 
I know I just said deep condition with heat, but that's with a steamer. So it's not like direct heat, that's indirect heat. So what I'm telling you to avoid is direct heat. So whether it's a blow dryer, I haven't used a blow dryer in so long. It's like, why do I even have one? But yeah, whether you're using a blow dryer, whether you are using a flat iron, don't know why I have that either. <laughs> whether you're using a flat iron, a blow dryer, um, curling tools, anything that has like direct heat, be very careful. If you really need to use heat, if you're really in a hurry to go somewhere, whatever the case may be, just use a diffuser. Save, save your, your hair, please. This one's a big one. Make sure that you're trimming your hair. Before my previous, um, this is so embarrassing, before my most recent Big Chop, which I did last year and I shared with a lot of you guys, um, I was not cutting my hair <laughs> so bad. I was not trimming my hair. I was looking at the ends and I was like, I love the length of my hair. I love that I have all this hair. You know, I was at the point where I was actually gonna go back to just straightening my hair frequently, even though it was already heat damaged at the ends, like majority of my hair was heat damaged. Um, I was willing to just straighten it just if that meant that I could keep all that length that I had in my hair. And I could already see a difference in the length. Like my hair was stuck here for a while. And then now, like my hair, it was just like, oh, I could finally breathe and stop breaking off. So this is how much, like it was around in this area and like this is how much more it has grown. So yeah, my hair sometimes just like let go of this end. It is holding me back from being great, like let it go. So I had to let it go. Don't cut your hair, do regular trims. Cause like that's the thing, like we get so caught up in like, oh my gosh, they said trim your hair. It's gonna help your hair grow back. But like if you're cutting your hair often, like constantly, like it's, you're defeating the purpose like just let your hair be look at your hair pay attention to your ends like look at my ends right now yeah see that i like when i trim my hair i trim it myself but i'll do a video maybe the next time i trim my hair to show you guys how i trim it so stay tuned for that using natural products in your hair um i know a lot of naturals say oh stay away from parabens stay away from this stay away from that um obviously you need a balance you need to have silks if you really want your hair to be cleansed and purified um you can't keep using cold washes to make your hair clean and healthy um but you can use uh, bentonite clay to cleanse your hair you can use apple cider vinegar to cleanse your hair and those are natural products and those also get all the um the gunk and everything out so you can get things from your kitchen, you can get things from your local supermarket. You don't necessarily have to go to a, um, a drugstore or a beauty supply store to get all these products. You can still get natural, healthy products for your hair. Sometimes I go to the cheaper option for a shampoo because I just want my hair to be cleansed, but then I balance that out by using a moisturizing uh, conditioner or a deep conditioner and I really take the time Drink lots of water, make sure you're eating healthy food, um, foods with like omega, like maybe salmon and all these other things, seafood, um, protein, make sure that you're getting your protein from your meat, make sure that you're getting your uh, vitamin C, um, all these things from your fruits and your vegetables and your whole grains. And then of course with water, make sure that you're getting the right intake so that, you know, your hair and your body reacts the way that's supposed to. Um, another one is to make sure that you're taking your vitamins. Take your vitamins, please take your vitamins. Um, I'm reminding myself to take your vitamins. Vitamins help so much because, um, like I've been drinking, um, Ensure, I've been taking my protein powders, I've been taking my daily multi multivitamins, I've been taking like biotin gummies and things like that, and that's really been helping. So of course, if you're taking all of these, you still need to balance it out with water because that's how you help it to digest and like go into your bloodstreams and then your body does what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and your hair, of course, loves you, your skin glows, you just, everything is great. Um, so yeah, take your vitamins so that your hair can get the nutrients that it needs and um, your skin can react the way that it needs to react as well so that you just be flourishing and glowing, you know? So yeah, take your vitamins. When you rinse out your deep conditioner and you're getting ready to go to the next step of styling, um, you're supposed to rinse it out with cold water. But when I'm in the shower, like I don't want to be feeling cold. So it's either rinsing it with cool water or like 
don't do it in the shower do it specifically um over the sink or like if you have the shower head just like hold it over your hair itself and make sure that you are like rubbing it all so you get it out faster so you don't spend as much time um underneath the cold water um but cold water is usually the best because it closes in your um your cuticles and it helps to keep in all that uh, moisture and all that lovely stuff that your deep conditioner just did for your hair do not use any style like any tools so whether it's a brush a comb all these things do not use these items but but I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all that if you're deep conditioning your hair on a weekly basis you actually realize that you don't need to use tools as much and you could just detangle with your fingers like finger detangle your hair and for the whole wash day and still be able to like I think I part my hair with my fingers sometimes so like be able to part it and like do your braids or whatever it is that you're doing um, and you'd be like set the way I got this hairstyle the only part the only place of my hair that I parted like with a comb was the middle but avoid tools as much as you can so that your hair flourishes and so you're not like ripping out all your hair out of your like scalp and stuff Sleep on a silk pillowcase or get a satin cap. Um, I've had multiple lazy days where I just like <laughs> wouldn't even put the pillowcase like on top because it like ruined my aesthetic or whatever. I have a black um, silk uh, black silk pillowcase. <laughs> I have a black silk pillowcase, right? And basically, I would just like lay it down <laughs> on top of the pillow that I'm sleeping on, and I would just like rest my head, and like that would be what I would do. And, but I bought this oversized bonnet where I could just like, if like this hairstyle, I would separate my hair into sections and then I would put the bonnet cap over and then I'd be set. <laughs> so I've been doing that too. But just find out what works best for your hair and then make sure your hair is being taken care of while you're sleeping. Especially if you're a wild sleeper, like you're tossing and you're turning and you're just like basically messing up your hair. Like, take care of it, please. do not over manipulate your hair please when you deep condition your hair have a full-blown wash day right so you deep condition you do the shampoo the conditioner the deep conditioning and the styling all on the same day you can get a lot of wear out of your hair whether it's like you do a braid out so you braid your hair for you leave your hair in the braids for a few days take it out have this style um this is a twist out but have a have your braid out style and then after a while when it starts to get wear and tear then just like do a half up, half down. Do like, um, I don't know, a high pop. Do like two buns, I don't know, like two braids. Whatever it is that you need to do to not touch your hair until your next wash day. So listen to your hair, get to know your hair, and figure out when it is that you need to do something else to it. Do you need to spritz it with water? Do you need to add some oils? Do you need to add some product? What do you need to do? tip is skip the LCO LOC method skip the lock method it does not work like let's be real you are putting water in your hair oftentimes it's warm water right let's just say you put in warm water then you choose to do the oil the oil is sealing in all that water so anything that you put on on top of that is not gonna go through into your scalp so you are opening your cuticles just to close your cuticles just to keep packing on more products that are just gonna stay um just to leave those products sitting on top of your hair like what is the point you're gonna get flakes you're not gonna get the results that you want because i've been there done that like with all the flakes and everything just sitting on top of your hair your hair is not as defined as you would have wanted it it's actually weighed down yes your hair looks longer but it gets frizzy within a day or two what's the point or let's say you put the water right your hair is dripping wet then you put this product and it's sitting there with the oil in. Some products do not mix well with like additional oil. So like it's going in between that product and then it's like clumping it together. And then that product is just like, it's just reacting to the oil. And you try to add additional like product to it later in the week because your hair is now drying up. Um, it's just sitting on top or it's getting flaky or both. So skip that method. First for my hair honestly has been just, um, the like water or any kind of like leave-in and a styling cream that's it <laughs> like a leave-in and a styling cream no oil skip the oil um maybe that's what it is skip the oil in your lco liquid oil lco 
um, LLC method. Skip the oil because it just, it doesn't help your hair. You can put oil in your scalp and like it will be beneficial. Do scalp massages regularly. So whether you're watching TV, if you're going to do it with your fingers, just put some oil in your fingertips. Or sometimes you don't need to because your hair, your scalp produces its own natural oil. So like you can just sit there and watch your favorite show. I did have a scalp massager. I, don't ask me where it is. Um, but I just find like my fingertips are best because I don't have to charge it. I don't have to look for batteries. I don't have to go find it. My fingers are always here. And you just do it in the comfort of your own home. So yeah. Or get your friend to give you a scalp massage. I don't know. Because <laughs> when I did my big shot, my hair was like, I want to say it was like somewhere here. And then it like continued growing and growing and growing growing to like here and then up until I don't want to say it was two weeks it was more than that most likely but then now my hair is here after I did my little trim so my goal so you guys can see my goal is to get my hair underneath my um bra line end of this year hopefully or before my goal is to get there my, my other tip my other tip and this is like a major tip because you know a woman's hair is her glory right and we're supposed to take care of her hair we're supposed to make sure that it's healthy and well kept so because my hair is my glory what I usually do is well when I was younger I actually prayed for long healthy hair and I was like I don't it doesn't matter if it's like my natural hair if it's straight or it's curly whatever I just wanted my hair to be long and healthy so I would pray about it and I would like do like watch a lot of videos and things like that on like how I can make sure that my hair is longer um, even if I cut it like it's as if it just like goes back to where it was and it's so weird and sometimes I lose track I'm sure if I blew out my hair and like I straightened it it'll be longer than what I actually stretched it to be but um yeah i pray about like my hair length um for god to grant me with like long beautiful gorgeous hair because it's not about vanity it's not about like oh my gosh i have long hair look at me but it's just like that's my glory so like i want god to like put that within me if that makes sense so like i pray for long hair so pray for long healthy hair and you shall have it oh, my hair is still flourishing it's still doing well and i want to continue to do that so my hair goal it's meant by the end of the year or before. So what are your hair goals? What are some other tips that you guys have? Some things that have worked for you? What are some things that hasn't worked for you? Do you guys like coconut oil? Like answer all these questions below uh, the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>